There is no God in the Badlands. Smoldering, serpentine, and supremely stylized, AMC's Into the Badlands depicts a post-apocalyptic feudal society where servitude, codes, betrayal, and death are the only real currency. And I suggest you buy into Badlands, because despite a few missteps here and there, the show is a rich offering. Debuting on November 15th, right after that other end of Civilization as we know it show, The Walking Dead, the six-episode, one-hour Alfred Goff and Miles Miller created martial arts series somewhat based on the 16th century Chinese tale, Journey to the West, is of course guaranteed by location to come out of the gate with some strong numbers. She's gonna hunt you down. Saddle up. It's war. Starring American-born Hong Kong star Daniel Wu, who simply kicks with quiet charisma as Sonny, the threat on Badlands is the age-old battle for power and the dystopian institutions of mankind, not the remnants of it like on Walking Dead. Dripping with intrigue, the series takes place in a southern gothic-tinged, gun-free, godless America, long after a great war, where seven barons rule with unsentimental ruthless, with armies of fighters called Clippers. One of the greatest, and with 404 kills, the most successful of them is Wu's scarlet-leathered Sonny, who serves a secretly ailing Baron Quinn, played by Lord of the Rings alum Martin Sokus. As the widow, played in Icy Cool by Emily Beecham, takes over her dead husband's realm and now moves against Quinn and the five other barons, Sonny takes a mysterious and powerful young man named MK, played by Aramis Knight, under his wing as his cult or clipper in training. Needless to say, with all that, there is a journey coming to beyond the borders of the Badlands and great changes. But getting us there, well, even when things become laborious in the measured plot of the show, which it does sometimes, at least in the episodes I've seen, it all slips away when Wu whips into action, and slow it becomes the last thing you think of Badlands as. Superbly choreographed by EP and fight director Stephen Fung, the fight scenes in Badlands are simply, well, they're simply mind-blowing. And I say this as a huge martial arts movie fan and devotee. They are some of the best and most versatile moves you will ever see on the small or big screen. I can only surmise from having seen Into the Badlands the Master Bruce is looking down proud of what his legacy has spawned. And that should have you glued to Into the Badlands. It had me. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.